Hi guys, welcome back to Jolly Kitchen with me, Kit. Thanks for tuning in. In this week's episode, I'm going to take you to a little bit of adventure. So we're going to explore some of the traditional northeastern style dessert that hasn't been talking much about it. So I got the full list of the ingredients right below in the description here, and we're going to go on a little bit of adventure together. All right, let's do it. Alright, so before we start jump into the cooking, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of background of this recipe. The Northeastern style dessert is very simple. It requires only a few ingredients to make. The simplicity also reflects the lifestyle of people who live in this region, which is the majority of people who live in Northeastern of part of Thailand are the farmers and um, also the ingredients to be using in this recipe from the source of the locals like the rice and um, as you can see me preparing in this step is to preparing the green color which is a natural color that extract from the pendant leaves the pendant leaves is very common ingredient to use in Thai cooking it's also including dessert or the savory dish And um, the next part is to prepare the flowers. In this recipe, there are only two types of flowers to be used. The first one is the rice flower, and the second one is the arrowroot finger flower. So we are going to make these two types of flowers together by adding, say, penance extract that we made earlier. And just add only a few bit first and then just knead them all together until it's all well combined and then we are going to mix with the rest of the ingredients so to add the sweetness into this recipe, I will be using two types of sugars. The first one is the palm sugar, it's very common in Thai cooking. It does give you a little bit different uh, taste, it's deeper and it's more balanced in the sweetness. I will also add in the cane sugar. You can also use the caster sugar or the white sugar, just only mix them together. And then I will be adding the limestone solution and then just mix all the ingredients together until it's all well combined. And then we are going to move on to the next part where we'll be heating all the mixture up into the pan. And we are going to start using the medium heat which is um, it's really slow cooking. It takes probably about 15-20 minutes until all the mixer is cooked up and become the lump and then become really nice soft jelly-ish like. And the next part that I'm going to show you here is to prepare the topping. Toppings that can be used in this one is the white sesame and the black sesame and the white topping is made from coconut cream mixed with uh, the rice flour. Um, the reason why to use the rice flour is to make the topping like not too watery. So it's really nice and stayed on the top of the custard when you garnishing. So in this case, I'm just going to put all the custard into the bag and then just add into um, suitable containers that you want to present. And um, that is all done. The toppings finished. So you just start your garnishing right now. 
and it will be ready to serve. Um, that is the end of the cooking today. I hope you like what you see and if you want to see more content like this from Jolly Kitchen with Kid, make sure to like, subscribe and share. It really means a lot to me if someone put in a comment below and saying that oh, you like it or you hate it so I know that someone is watching. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.